Westmoreland, located at the west end of the island, is adjoined on the north by the parish of Hanover and on the east by St. Elizabeth and St. James. The parish has a combination of white limestones, marl, sand, gravel, and coral reefs. Here are five heritage sites that you must visit in Westmoreland, Jamaica. Come and chat with Tanya. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. The Negril Point Lighthouse. This lighthouse is situated at South Negril Point, which is at the extreme western end of the island. The concrete tower, which is painted white, stands 66 feet above ground level and the light is elevated 100 feet above sea level. The lighthouse has an automatic white light which flashes every two seconds. The Negril Lighthouse was built in 1894 by the French company Bobler and Bernard on a tank 14 feet deep which is kept filled with water. This is to keep the tower balanced and secured in the event of an earthquake. The tower, which is built inland, is cylindrical and has an elaborate light enclosed in a metal and glass protector on top of which is a wind vane. Initially, the lighthouse was operated by a gas lamp, but in 1956, it was replaced by an acetylene gas lamp. This was used until 1985 when it was replaced by solar energy. The lighthouse is located at latitude 18 degree 15 north and longitude 78 degree 23 west. The Akendown Castle Ruin On the northern side of the main road between the towns of Savannah Lamar and the Black River is the Akendown Castle Ruin. According to a plaque on the inner wall, the castle was built by Archibald Campbell 1781-1833 to of the family of the Akenbreck in Argyll in Scotland. An inscription in lead on a stone on one of the inner walls of the link joining the two towers reads, Here lie the remains of Archibald Campbell of the family of Auchenbeck in Argyll in Scotland, third son of the Honourable John Campbell of New Hope in this parish died 21st April 1833, aged 52 years. This castle, which is now his monument, was built by him, R.I.P. The castle consists of the stone remains of an eastern and western tower connected by what is said to have been an underground passage. The style in which the masonry has been constructed is unusual in Jamaica, rather more medieval in character, making the castle quite unique in this respect. The Akendown Castle Ruin was declared as a national monument by the Jamaica National Heritage Trust on December 21, 2006. The Cast Iron Fountain, located near to the courthouse in Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland, is a Corinthian fluted cast iron fountain. This beautiful and unique fountain was presented to the town of Savannah Lamar in 1887 by E.J. Sadler, a planter from Westmoreland. Rising from the base of the fountain are eight iron columns which give the structure an octagonal appearance. On each of the eight columns is an arch and over each arch is a plaque with a pelican motive. Inscribed on the pelican motive is the admonition to keep the pavement dry. 
The Manning's High School The history of the Manning School dates back to a quarter of a century before the actual setting up of the school when in 1711. Thomas Manning, a Westmoreland planter, bequeathed a gift of land for the setting up of a free school in the parish of Westmoreland. The legal formalities which facilitated the effecting of his will were formalized in 1738 when the Jamaica Assembly made this possible by the passing of an Act 11 to George II, Chapter 9, after which the free school was formally established. It is interesting to note that the school was established on the present site near Savannah Lamar instead of on the lands left by Manning at Burnt Savannah Pen at the northern end of the George's Plain. In 1780, a hurricane did extensive damage to the school and the board petitioned the House of Assembly for help to effect repairs. As the years progressed, the 20th century led to the reorganization of the school into a modern grammar school. The oldest existing part of the school which was built in the early 20th century is known as the Thomas Manning Building, named in honor of the school's founder. It is the most outstanding building on the entire school property and is currently used as library and classrooms. The Savannah Lamar Baptist Church The Baptist Church in Savannah Lamar was erected in 1835. It was destroyed by fire on the 23rd of November 1839 and rebuilt in 1840. The church is very simple in architectural form with a rectangular floor plan. The facade is symmetrical with an arrangement of four pointed arch window openings in the form of a crucifix. Two strategically placed projecting porches provide shelter for the entrances. There is an arrangement of five large pointed arch windows on each side of the building. The roof is of steep gable-ended construction. Remember to visit the parish of Westmoreland in Jamaica and go to these beautiful heritage sites. Negril Point Lighthouse, Akendown Castle Ruin, Cast Iron Fountain, Manning's High School and the Savannah Lamar Baptist Church. Subscribe to Chat Jamaican for valuable content on Jamaica. Thanks for watching. Little more.